In this next problem, we're given two series, and we're asked to find the first five terms of their product. So if you remember um, the formula for the product of two series, uh, if we have uh, coefficients of one represented by um, b sub k and the coefficients of the other represented by um, c sub k, then their product is equal to um, sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the sum from uh, k equals 0 to n of c sub or b sub k times c sub n minus k and x minus the center uh, raised to the nth power. So here if we um, let b sub k equal, or just look, c, c, start with c sub k. Uh, here the coefficient of every term, the series, of, uh, the power series representation of q of x is just 1. So c of k is constant at 1. And b sub k, well, this is a little confusing because we have kind of different, well, kind of talking about two different k's here. Here I'm referring to the first term in the sequence, or the kth term in the sequence. Here, um, if I let, you know, fix a k, I'm looking at the two kth term in the sequence. There's only, only looking at the odd, uh, or excuse me, only the even um, power terms of uh, the series p of x are non-zero. So b sub k is simply zero if k is odd. And if k is even, then it's going to be something of the form minus one to some power over two k factorial, but it's going to be a little bit different because say if we took um, the fourth um, the fourth term, then this would be minus one to the, well this would be two times two, so this would be, k would be equal to two. So any term we take here, if k is, any time we take an even term, we're raising minus one to that power divided by two. So I'll have minus one to the k over two. And x to the kth power over um, k factorial. So we're kind of just replacing k, uh, the k here by k over 2. Okay, so now that we have this, we can start writing out the first few terms of the sequence. Um, so let's just start summing when n is equal to 0, so the first term. So let's write over here to keep track. So if, where n equals 0, then we're taking the sum from k equals 0 to 0. So this is just, um, or n is 0, so k is also 0. So we're just looking at b0 and c0. Well, c0, c is, k is always equal to 1. So be 1 times b sub k, well, k is even, so we'll use this part of the piecewise definition of the coefficient. So k is equal to 0, uh, means that negative 1 to the 0th power is 1, x to the 0 is 1, 0 factorial is 1, all of that is just equal to 1. So we have x, and our center is um, just 0. So we'll be multiplying by x uh, now to the nth power, n is equal to 0. And that's our first term. All right. And then to that, we'll add uh, the next term in the, um, in the outer summation. So here, we just did n equals 0. Now we're doing the term where n equals 1. So here we have to sum from k equals 0 to 1. So 
this is going to equal sum from k equals 0 to 1 of bk c to the n minus k times x minus a, or it's just x since a is equal to 0, times x to the first power. This is the term, when, now we'll do the term when n is equal to 2. So I have the sum from k equals 0 to 2 of b sub k c n minus k times x squared. Um, and similarly for n equals 3, and we wanted the first five terms. So here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. We're only going to have to go up to um, the x to the fourth term. All right, so this first term is just 1 times 1 is 1. x to the 0 is 1, so we just have 1. Second term, uh, we have the sum from k equals 0 to 1 of well, b sub k times c to the n minus k. So if k is equal to 0, we have b sub 0 uh, times c uh, sub 1. Well, c sub 1 is just 1. b sub 0... Uh, Let's see, 0 is even, so this is actually just going to be the exact same coefficient as up here. Um, and k is equal to 1, then we have b sub 1. But remember that if k is odd, then b sub k is equal to 0. So that's just 0. And we multiply by x. So for the second term, notice that the first two terms are going to be the... Um, Let's see, or are they? No, they're not going to be quite the same. But yes, they will be the same. We can actually simplify a lot of um, simplify a lot here just by noting that c sub k is always equal to one. So this means that. Here we just took the sum from 0 to 1 of b sub k multiplied by x. Here we take the sum from, of b sub k from 0 to 2. So we want b sub 0 plus b sub 1 plus b sub 2. Well, this is b sub 0 plus b sub 1. Uh, so we just have 1 plus 0 plus, now we need b sub 2. So k is even. So we'll use this part of the definition. And we have negative 1. Uh, to the first power times x, k is equal to 2, so this is times x squared. Um, let's see, hang on. I just realized that we shouldn't have the x to the k in the definition because b sub k is only the coefficient. So I mistakenly wrote the entire term here. Really, it should be the term without the x, co or without the x part. Uh, that doesn't affect anything we've done in the problem, though. This is negative 1 to the first power over 2 factorial. And this is times x squared. Right. And this will add um, the sum of the first, uh, right, some of the first four b coefficients. So this is 1 plus 0 uh, minus one half, just copying from here, and we need to add the third coefficient, but third coefficient k is odd, that's just equal to zero. All right, and last term, we'll be adding the first four coefficients, so it'll be start out the same as before, and that takes care of up to the th first three. Right, so for um, x to the fourth term, uh, or the last term here, we just have, well, let's see, the sum of the first four b coefficients. That's the same as before, 1 minus 1 half for the first three, and we need to add the fourth coefficient. So that's going to be negative 1 to the 
4 over 2 or negative 1 squared, so that's just 1. And be dividing by 4 factorial. And multiply by x to the fourth. All right, so uh, if we bring this all the way over here, this is now equal to 1 plus uh, 1 plus 0 times x, so 1 plus x plus, um, here we have 1 minus 1 half times x squared, so that's 1 half x squared, plus 1 minus 1 half x cubed, so again 1 half uh, times x cubed. And for the final term we have 1 minus 1 half plus uh, 1 minus 1 half plus 1 over uh, 4 factorial. Well, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so that's 24. And let's see if we simplify this. Um, this is equal to 12 24ths, uh, or 24 24ths minus 12 24ths, that's 12 13 24ths. So plus 13 24ths x to the fourth. So, um, and plus dot, dot, dot. So this here is um, first five terms of the power series representation of P times Q.